You know, I get asked a lot for advice on holsters. Like, what kind of holster should I buy? How much money should I spend on a holster? And one thing I've noticed about people who are trying to get a holster, usually it's people that are trying to carry for the first time or they're new to carrying, they just can't get it right yet, and they're just looking for that holster that makes it better for them. Well, the thing I've noticed that most of them seem to overlook is it's not just the holster. It's also your belt. In fact, your belt can often be the most important part of your carry rig especially if you're going to carry outside waistband. If you're carrying outside waistband, you need a really strong belt that isn't going to twist, isn't going to sag, you know, just isn't going to deform in any way. It's really going to support your holster and keep it where it's supposed to be. So it's not just the holster, it's also the belt. Now let me take a second here to show you what I actually wear right now. Now as you can see here, what I'm wearing is nothing fancy and it's nothing expensive. It's a $25 Tagwa leather holster combined with a 3699 triple K belt. Now this is a good thick leather belt. It's a double layer stitched together. It's well made. Uh, it's not like the belts you'll find at Walmart or something like that that are stitched together. Those are cheap, cheap little belts with thin little paper thick uh, leather laid over them. This is two good thick pieces of leather laminated together and stitched together. So it's a good belt. Now I prefer a single strap leather, but this is good too. And plus this is really cheap. Like I said, it's not expensive. Uh, the combination of a good holster with a good belt is better than having a great holster and a crappy belt. I'll tell you that right now. The two combined, it really, like I said, it keeps the holster right where it's supposed to be. Uh, this really also prevents you from having to tighten your belt so tight that you get those lines. That's why people have to tighten their belt so tight all the time. It's because they have a cheap belt that keeps stretching and stretching and stretching and they keep having to tighten it further and further and it gets to where it's uncomfortably tight because the area where the holster is is stretched out. So get a good holster and a good belt instead of just a great holster and a crappy belt and you'll avoid that problem. And also I apologize for my pants being out of style here, but when you lose weight, one of the good things about it is you get to go to the back of your closet and get on all new wardrobe, but the bad thing is it's usually 10 or 15 years out of date. So you can see that's not an expensive holster and it's not even an expensive belt. I didn't pay $100, $150, $200 for the belt. I didn't pay $50 to $100 for the holster. I paid $40 less than that actually for the belt, $25 for the holster, and I have a good setup. It's very comfortable, easy to wear, it doesn't sag, doesn't deform, you know, it's not twisting around. The gun stays where I put it. So, you know, you don't got to spend a fortune on either, but you got to remember it's a combination of the two. Don't just go out and spend all your money, don't blow your wad, so to speak, on just a big expensive holster. Buy a decent holster and then spend a little bit of that money to buy a decent belt.